The NAACP and other organizations are fighting recent legislation by targeting the state's tourism dollars. The NAACP has issued a travel advisory to the state urging people to find somewhere else to visit. ABC Action News reporter Jade Williams breaks down what that advisory means and how travelers are reacting. I just know that it's time to bring awareness of what's going on in the state of Florida to the other states. Hitting the state where it hurts the most. The NAACP is now saying don't come to Florida. What it is is just bringing attention to what um, African American people are going through in the state of Florida. A lot of injustice and we have a target on our back um, based upon our race. Over the weekend, the national NAACP issued a travel advisory. The letter states, quote, please be advised that Florida is openly hostile towards African Americans, people of color and LGBTQ plus individuals. We have been talking about this and we, the NAACP, Florida State Conference uh, and the National have been talking about this for months and months. And so um, it had gotten to the point where, you know, the, in the words of Fannie Lou Hamer, um, enough is enough. You know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So we showed that advisory to travelers and asked for their thoughts. The answers varied. Some feel it's a smart idea, others not so much. In my opinion, like if you if you think that you can keep people from coming to an entire state in the United States of America, like land of the free, there's really no reason that anybody should even heed this warning. Do you feel like it's a good enough fight back? Well, any fight back is going to be a good enough fight back. People need to fight back more against what he's doing. But there are examples of it working. South Carolina lost out on about two decades of NCAA tournaments and partnerships because of an NAACP travel advisory. According to Forbes, Indiana lost out on about $60 million in business because of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act in 2015. Hillsboro NAACP chapter president Yvette Lewis feels the same impact could happen here in Florida. It's heard around the, the United States. Um, and it definitely will have an economic effect on the state of Florida. Uh, our dollars are green just like everyone else. The NAACP says they have no plans of lifting that travel advisory until there's changes made to current legislation. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News. Jada, thank you. And we reached out to the governor's office for comment on this travel advisory, and we are still waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor tweeted, I can absolutely assure anyone and everyone considering a visit or move to Tampa that they will be welcomed with open arms. Diversity and inclusion are central to what makes Tampa one of America's greatest and friendliest cities. And in St. Pete, Mayor Ken Welch tweeted as well, saying, We are St. Pete means everyone is welcome and will be treated with dignity and respect.